G'day, mate. There was some huge news in the last few days that absolutely has repercussions in the Burning Crusade classic when and if it's announced, which we all can presume is hopefully sometime soon. But this is really the first bit of news I could say that the show has covered that, as again, pertains to the Burning Crusade. And I'm really excited to dig deep on this one because if you haven't heard, Blizzard has absolutely readdress their position on multi-boxing. They released a blue post a few days ago suggesting that they've had a sit down, they've looked at what's happening in game. And I, I presume this is very much so a retail thing that has spawned this. It just happens to have a trickle down effect to classic, but they basically said they're not happy anymore and they don't want people to be able to use third party software that, mimics key inputs across multiple versions of WoW that are open. So if you've got five programs of of WoW all open and you're playing your five different characters as a multi-boxer, you press one key, it does, you know, one action for five different characters and, you know, you can theoretically burn down a mob in one hit. They want to put an end to this and there are various other factors that come into that. But 16 years this game has gone on without this being addressed and presumably presumably Blizzard was just always kind of passively cool with it. It was extra money for them. Now in 2020, we're being told not so fast. So in order to discuss this topic, I thought it was really important to get not only a countdown favorite and, you know, a love of uh, a great, I was just going to call you a love of mine and I was going to correct myself, but I thought, fuck it, I'll stick with it. Ale, how are you, mate? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Um, I'll just have to start referring to you as lover or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. But we've <laughs> also got, <laughs> we've also got two multi boxes and I feel that was really important to get, uh, you know, the other argument here as well. Now, a lot of you listening will absolutely have very strong feelings towards multi boxes and, you know, the show has covered multi-boxing a long, long time ago, about a year and a half ago with Galgamir. And I still recall some of the comments that came in about that call going, you know, why are you entertaining the multi-boxes? You know, they ruin everything, blah, 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 blah. But I still feel it's really important to hear that side of the story. We'll hear both angles and you guys can go back and make what you will of the conversation after the fact. So I'm so happy to have here um, two really, really uh, prolific multi-boxes. They've been doing it for some time. Firstly, Wada, how how are you, mate? I'm doing fairly well overall. I'm glad to be here and get a chance just to discuss multiboxing in general. Very good. It's great to have you. And Burley, thanks so much for joining us as well, mate. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, glad to be here as well. Um, I don't know if I'd call myself prolific, but I'm a multiboxer, so. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, guys, look, let's not dick around too much. Let's get into the meat of things. And uh, Wada, I might just start with you on this one, man, and just say, you know, it was a shock to everyone just to see such a handbrake turn on this issue in game. But from your angle as a multi-boxer, can you describe how you felt when you found out about the news? Um, Mostly concerned and confused. So, Pretty much every multi boxer that you know uses software uses one of a couple of programs, uh, one of which being the most common. And there was no lead up to this news, no information that there might be difficulties, no no indication that the policy that they've had, because the policy has been that multi boxing is allowed within certain rule sets, uh, no indication that anything could even potentially change. Uh, many multi boxers had already spent hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars on hardware and you know Shadowlands and the like, um, and it comes completely out of left field. Now, I don't think it's necessarily bad, but the lack of the um, clarity of what they're actually banning is the most concerning thing for me. Like, I don't know really what is allowed still and what is not. And that's definitely something that's already come up in the aftermath in terms of some people are saying, well, they'll still be multi-boxing, you know, they'll find a way around it or, you know, they can still technically have five programs open and just 
alt tab between windows and play five different characters they just can't do it with the key mapping software um so we'll, we'll see what what happens when we come forward but um burley before i get to you i might throw over to over to ale so we kind of balance this out a little bit because i know already there will be people listening and feeling tense going like you know oh here we go the multi boxes are, are going to you know, say it's a travesty and we should all feel sorry for them. But I, I completely understand that there is going to be another element to this. And this is how I felt when I read the news. I, I mean, again, not to throw shade at, at you, Water or Burley, because there's a lot of multi-boxes I don't have any problem with. If I see someone out in the world leveling characters, I've got no fucking drama with multi-boxing. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Is it a little bit immersion breaking? Sure, but, you know, fucking whatever my issue starts to come up when people start to use multi-boxing for the purposes of PVP and economic reasons. Um, and there is that slight tinge of abuse of, of the game that we start to talk about um, as Patricia dances in the background of the stream. <laughs> but it's something where there are nefarious you know, implications behind multi-boxing that unsettles a lot of people. And so that's why I was happy when I saw this news. Ale, if I asked you, as someone who doesn't multi-box, how did you feel when you received the news? Well, I, I, I do multi-box a little bit, just not with software. Like, I have two accounts that I tab between and play. So, like, this obviously doesn't affect me in that regards. Uh, for me, I was excited because potentially it means they were going to deal, be able to deal more harshly with the hacking that's been going on. At least that was my hope. They did reference that in the post. Uh, I was saddened to learn about it for the people that I do play with. I, I do know Wada from Scarum, and in my mind, he's one of the multi-boxers that's actually liked, uh, just in how he engages with the community and doesn't, you know, seem to do those uh, gameplay behaviors that people really hate. Uh, at the same time, I haven't really dealt with any from the Alliance because there isn't any Alliance on Scarum. So I was more hopeful that it would mean that Blizzard would be able to clamp down more on the... Uh, like the Lotus abuse and things like that. Mm, okay. Burley, let me throw it over to you and just ask, do you understand where some members and perhaps, you know, a lot of members of the community are coming from when someone like me, who just last week was camped by a multi-boxer who as a mage was just hitting arcane explosion as I was trying to herb in winter spring and just got decimated. And then I run back to my body and it happens again. And I'm like, fuck, I don't even get a shot in. Can you understand slightly, you know, where the community is coming from when they hear this news and the reception that it receives? And how did you feel? Yeah, I mean, of course. So, like, of all the degenerate things that could happen with multiboxing, one-shotting you over and over again with a mage is definitely among the worst, and is probably not something you should be able to do in the game. And when I heard the news, I assumed that, um, like, things like this were more of the sorts of reasons why multiboxing uh, was getting the axe. And, well, I don't know, because for me... Um, I'm just running around on my warrior and on my mage. I'm like trying to do these solo bosses or just like, you know, doing weird stuff. I'm not trying to do it for any sort of um, like crazy, uh, you know, advantage. And I'm not trying to kill people. I'm just trying to like do my thing. And I felt like I got shotgunned by this ban and that maybe Blizzard could have done something a little bit more um, uh, targeted and refined. And maybe I'd still be able to play the game I wanted to. Um, but no, I understand. Uh, but yeah, of course, it made me like a little bit sad, a little bit confused. Like what I was saying, nobody here knows exactly what is allowed. Um, people who aren't breaking terms of service are getting uh, reported and getting warnings. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of these same sort of feelings. And of course, like, so we understand, but it doesn't make it uh, particularly easier to take. Okay, well, Wada, let me throw it over to you because, you know, Burley just mentioned, you know, doing his thing. And I guess as a multiboxer, what your thing is might differ from multiboxer to multiboxer. So, you know, when you guys say just we'd love to be left alone to do our thing, how do you multibox in game? What do you use it for? So for me, I have a very kind of strict policy with myself because I do recognize that PvP is hilariously unfair as a multi-boxer. Um, I typically will not engage on any alliance, uh, however few there are. Even back when there was, 
unless either it's large scale combat where, you know, each side has 20, 30 people or they attack me first or are known to be particularly um, egregious members of the opposite faction. You know, if I come across a rogue that's notorious for, you know, ganking an org to take away specifically targeting world buffs, yeah, I'll blow them up. Um, but if I'm just running through open world and I see a random alliance picking herbs, I leave them alone unless they hit me first. And that is a surprisingly common thing. People always like to try and challenge and be like, oh, I'm going to take this guy out. I think PvP is ridiculous for multiboxing. It should not be, you know, a thing. Um, they have addressed that quite heavily in retail. Um, in retail specifically, the moment you engage in PvP combat slash follow is disabled across the board. Uh, there is one other way that you still can control characters that is not disabled, but I feel like if it was disabled, PvP would be completely dead on arrival for multiboxing in any level. And I'm okay with that. Um, the economic advantage is a lot less pronounced in classic than in retail. In retail, that's huge, and I think there are certain things there that are the direct cause of this, which we can get into if you care. Well, um, I was going to say, just while you bring it up now, mate, if I can just interject and say, you know, in, I don't play retail, but in my slight bit of research for this call, I see things like, I, I think it's the case that in retail now, for example, with gathering nodes, you can, you know, multi-characters can tap nodes. Is it things like that that make it more of an issue? So yes, there's the, you can have multiple characters tap nodes, but even more than that, um, retail has a lot more of these things called hyper spawns, which basically are an area where X number of mobs must always be present. So if you clear out the area, they will instantly respawn. Uh, there's a few in classic, but most of them are low level or not really exploitable. There's a ton in retail. And so what a lot of multi-boxers are doing, because in retail, every character gets their own cut of the loot, rather than like, in you know, in classic, if you kill a mob, it has one piece of loot. In retail, it rolls for every character that hits the mob up to a full party. So you do two groups of four characters, and you're getting eight times the loot for every mob that you kill. You go out to one of these areas that are a hyperspawn with a bunch of boomkins, sit there AFK just using Starfall for hours and generate absolutely obscene amounts of gold. To me, the problem there isn't the multiboxing. The problem is a really, really poor design choice in A, how personal loot works, and B, the fact that those mobs hyperspawn and can you know award that level of loot. Multiboxing exploits that, but... I, I feel like there is a way that you could target the multi-box community to prevent that that doesn't kill the community. It just prevents that activity. Just like PvP, removing follow, you don't really see that much multi-box PvP on retail. It happens occasionally where a multi-box like, holds down a town or whatever, but in general, you don't see it. You haven't. I, I can assure you in the entirety of Classic, you've probably never seen a multi-boxer in a battleground, other than Alterac Valley, where you can kind of cheese that other movement method that I mentioned. Um, so there are design ways to attack this problem that don't inhibit the good things that multi-boxers do. For instance, for me, I much more enjoy the challenge and the puzzle of multi-boxing. How do I make all of these characters work together to accomplish going and doing Ubers by myself? You know, How can I take five Shadow Priests a clear Skolomance. Um, you know, how do I take five Warlocks and kill Baron and Undead Strat without an actual tank? You know, th uh, things like that where it's a lot of puzzles and trying to see how far I can push the PvE aspect of things is much more entertaining than anything else. Whereas the, the economic end, most multiboxers don't really care about that. Um, some do, especially more in retail, like I said. PvP, I think it's a very, very small portion that could be addressed through design implementations, not through just a blanket ban on mirroring software. I'd, I'd like to add on to that point, because um, I think this is, among all the reasons that people hate multiboxing, I think um, 
there was a couple, just like I, I'd, I'd been kind of pulling people over the last couple of days. I think one of them has to do with just like, uh, you know, feeling wrong and, you know, kind of disrespecting the game in a sort of sense. Um, but the other big one is that it provides you um, some sort of advantage, which you haven't really earned and you're just paying for, basically. Basically, it's pay to win. Um, and so uh, and co- coming um, as a multiboxer, uh, I, this is like I, I understand the sentiment, um, but I'm just telling you right now, outside of unless you've got 40 people farming uh, ecos or whatever out in winter spring, uh, there's basically nothing you could do with multiboxing that actually provides you an advantage in uh, basically any portion of the game. Uh, on the whole, I describe it more as a challenge mode um, than something you do for advantage. So it's evidence I'd present uh, that, you know, when I was starting up uh, Classic WoW, um, I was pretty sweaty. I made it to um, on my warrior and my mage to level 60 in about four weeks, and I joined a hardcore guild. Um, I'll tell you, uh, in this hard- hardcore guild, no one was multiboxing. Um, and these are the people that, you know, were buying gold and they're doing basically anything they could to get that sort of advantage. And, uh, the idea of multiboxing never came up to any of them because, uh, when it comes to things like gearing out a character or farming gold or, um, any of the traditional sort of in-game aspects of WoW, uh, multiboxing isn't really all that good. Uh, so I just wanted to put that out there. Well, just just to push back a little bit, and and please, guys, Wider and Burley do understand that I'm a complete noob when it comes to WoW Classic, and I'm very much so the average player. So if I say anything that seems a bit off, feel free to correct me, and Ale will as well, I know. But when I hear things like, you know, Burley, you suggested that the advantage of the advantages of being a multi boxer are actually, you know, perhaps greatly outplay our. our played up in your mind in terms of that there's not that many advantages that, that you can really think of when i think of things that i've seen in game you know being that average player and being out in winter spring or what have you looking for a black lotus and you know if i see that black lotus and a multi-boxer comes along and one shots me and then they get the black lotus in front of me or i think of the multi-boxer who has created multiple um hunters or what have you that keep an eye and i know they can't necessarily do it anymore because they changed the randomness of, of the nodes and everything but you know for months and months and months when classic was you know first out obviously we knew where the spawns were and getting all those multi-box hunters perhaps um sitting around and keeping an eye on all the spawn points and just figuring out whether whether something was up or not um i just feel like and ale maybe you'd have something on this as well uh i mean surely there are advantages out there that that multi-boxes can still exploit whether someone chooses to or not is another question yeah that's true it's it's funny i I was actually thinking a bit about it and the most the most times i've had issues with multi-boxers has actually been in the very few times i played retail i logged in once to just go about my business and uh there was like a like a 30 multi-box death knight that had just killed absolutely everything in the main city and nobody could do anything. And also while, while leveling, I, Water reminded me that I did run across a multi-boxer Moonkin that had an entire like 100-yard area zone fully locked down. And as for in Classic, I do know that the power is definitely there. I think the issue is is that it's so incredibly powerful that it's not something that people easily kind of forget or like chalk up because uh, a lot of the, the issues that you hear are, for example, you know, multi mages locking down a raid portal entrance or, you know, 40 multi boxers, you know, farming ecos. So like the effect of it, I think is, is really large and very noticeable, maybe more so than, you know, the amount of people who are multi boxing and actually, you know, abusing it. But those who do, leave a very big impact. Mm. Water, I'll throw it over to you because as Ale said before, you very much so established a good reputation for yourself on your server and, and people have come to, you know, enjoy your, your interaction on the server as a multi-boxer. But when I do push back a little bit against something like, oh, the advantages of being a multi-boxer are actually quite minimal. Do you understand where I'm coming from and why the general community would feel that maybe there's, um, you know, definitely advantages still with being a multi-boxer? Oh, absolutely. I think multiboxing by its nature is advantaged play. 
Um, the, I, I, as weird as it sounds, I would put less onus on the community for this change as on a small subset of multi boxers that do a lot of these, you know, things that are extremely noticeable. Um, you know, the eco farming, the, uh, you know, locking down an entire area, et cetera. The, the problem that runs into here is the rule set that they've applied of no mirroring software, uh, under the implementation that pretty much everybody assumes of like, if I press one, it can't press one on five clients at once. Doesn't stop any of that. Okay. It, tell us how. So it is just as easy to ha- set up a system where you can do, you know, either round robins through the different characters or even without software completely. And, you know, you say, oh, alt tabbing, et cetera, uh, is a pain. It's really not. Um, Windows has the ability baseline to let your uh, keystrokes follow your mouse so you don't actually have to alt tab. You just line up the windows, run your mouse in a little circle and just go one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 three. And it does the exact same thing. So the people that are farming eco, and I know one multi boxer who farms a significant amount of eco, you know, um, does it, you know, with tons of accounts. It's not affecting him. He's still capable of farming eco. There's no difficulty whatsoever. Um, those black lotus farmers that you mentioned, most of them probably weren't even really using that much of the multi box software other than just the window control which can be done with other things anyways. It's not high enough level content that they need to use mirroring. The only thing that it affects is the people who are doing the difficult content of like, you know, me in retail when I'm trying to push Mythic 15s and just see how far I can push the sets. That That's not going to work, you know. But for the egregious problems of like locking down the city or farming Lotus or anything, this change doesn't affect that. Um, at least in the way that it's written, um, in the way it's being implemented with Blizzard, it seems like they're being a little bit more heavy handed, but it, it's hard to say because, you know, there, there haven't been any bans on it. Um, they've done some warnings today, but the warnings just feel more that it's just a, hey, look, we can detect this. Um, the, the simple fact is there are ways to do those kind of bad acts without multi-boxing software, just fine. Um, mm. And if anything, this actually, a lot of people say, oh, well, it's, you know, they're like botters. What people don't understand is those multi-boxers that are, you know, doing the multi-herb farm or whatever, they're actually slowing down botters too. You know, the the fact that there's less multi-boxers means prices will go up on that and there will be more botters by definition. Um I don't necessarily think that's a good or a bad thing with multiboxing. Like, I don't want to be, you know, I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm saying, you know, because multiboxers are there, we stop botters. No. Um, but it, it will create an economic shift that favors botting. You know, when you remove supply from the market, obviously botting will be favored. And combined with the fact that those, you know, ill actors in multiboxing uh, that do that kind of stuff, they're just going to go bot anyways, or they're going to keep well, doing it. I, I was wondering this one because um, uh, Tian SG, who's been on the show before, brings this up in chat, and I was actually thinking this as well while you were talking just then. Isn't it the case that some multi-boxes, though, are also a team of botters? Yeah, um, of course. And I think... Uh, you want to go for it? I, I think there are multi-boxers who are you know botters per se. But the big thing is those multi-boxers who are botters, they're not typically looking like multi boxers. Multi the there there's enough of a difference between it. You know, multi boxers you picture as one character with like five or six following it, whatever. Botters they'll tend to be all running together. It's it's different software. And while they both can be used to accomplish the same concept, the big thing is the multi boxer is still sitting at the computer the whole time doing things, etc. The botter is not. If you know, if any multi boxers are actually botting, one hundred percent they should get banned. It's botting. You know, you need to be at your computer, responsible for playing the game. Yeah. You know? Okay, Burley, you were going to say something. Yeah. Um. I 
think in this discussion, it's probably important to remember that the number of bots on any given server probably outnumbers the number of multi-boxers on a server by like 100 to 1. And I don't know, maybe it's just coming from white main, which, you know, where our, the prices of our bijus are like 20 silver. Um, but yeah, I, it's ironically, the direct mention or the direct reason they mentioned uh, for why this was uh, the software is banned it was because it was so easy to use this sort of software to implement bots. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, um, that, that's just kind of straight false, basically. It's using IS box or some of the other big programs out there, um, to implement bots. Not really. Like it would be borderline impossible to build a bot with IS boxer. Um, yes, hotkey net, auto hotkey, you know, and some of these other software that are used elsewhere could be done, but all of the prolific botting companies out there that bot, they have their own custom software already built. Do you okay, think, sure. Do you think maybe that the reason that they banned this is this, this was the first step in to Blizzard going into an arms race for all sorts of like kind of software detection where they couldn't take the step without first doing this step first. I think you're on to something there and I don't disagree, but the problem is again with the implementation that, okay, we're only banning mirroring inputs. So with doing that, like I said, it's still possible to legitimately do these other acts just by tabbing through all the clients and everything. So, it doesn't actually prevent anything in that regard. And furthermore, like if it was going to go down that route, which I'm not saying it should or shouldn't, the point here comes down to that you're going to have every, right now people, most people know, oh, multiboxing is kind of scummy. We don't like it, but it's not reportable. You know, now they're going to see every single time Somebody has a character on follow and walking around a city. You know, I have a bank alt logged on and I've got two other accounts with bank alts just on follow, not multi-boxing or anything. They're just going to immediately report that. It's going to create a lot of support overhead. And the concern to me is that Blizzard is going to, you know, and they, they have a history of this, is going to look at these reports and say, oh, they must be multi-boxing ban. And that they aren't – if they are using it as a preface to greater things, that they're not going to be, you know, diligent in the amount of reports that this is going to generate that are false reports. Let me ask you about Blizzard's interaction with all this because you, you raised some interesting points, Wada, to think about in terms of the way that they've worded, uh, not that this will be the final wording on whatever they inject into the TOS, but the way they've worded this statement about what they plan to do um, has a lot of people thinking, obviously, about workarounds already. But then also the, the key element here, and this is what I was sort of saying to people in the, in the Discord, um, is that... It's all fun and games for Blizzard to take a stance on something and effectively outlaw a way of playing the game. The next step is actually taking action. And, you know, as you suggest, botting is against the terms of service, yet bots run rampant in World of Warcraft Classic. The action has not really been there on Blizzard's end. So even if Blizzard were to go ahead and really solidify a stance on this that outlaws multiboxing as per the terms of service, and then we then leave it to player reports coming in. Well, we've seen that player reports come in on bots in Classic and it leads to nothing. So whether or not we report multiboxers doing nefarious things and then it gets any action whatsoever on Blizzard's end, who's to know? But also, as you say, it also creates a new thing where it's just the new boy who cried wolf, perhaps, where someone gives you the shits and you report them for multiboxing and, um, you know, say saw someone on follow or something like that. Who knows? But what what kind of um, doesn't necessarily sit very well with me is, is when I hear things like um, you guys saying, look, there are workarounds for this. Um, even if, you know, Windows uses something like a trickle down effect where if you press a key, there might be a delayed onset where the keys all eventually get pressed along the different programs. It might just not happen instantaneously or, you know, alt tabbing or whatever it might be. But I feel like 
Blizzard would probably be well served in my mind because guys, again, I'm, I appreciate that multiboxing does have positives. I just personally see a lot more negatives to it because I feel like whilst Wada and Burley might be here saying that they don't abuse the system and they do it for fun challenges in instances or what have you, there's a lot of people that don't use it for those reasons. And I just feel like Blizzard would be better served using a very vague clause in their TOS, you know, where they're trying to effectively safeguard the spirit of the way in which the game is played, where they're like, if we detect 10 mages outside of an instance guarding that zone and clearly just whether it's one at a time or whether it's a half a second delay between button presses, they are just spamming Blizzard and keeping people away from a certain area and locking it down. Or if we see what is obvious PVP abuse against someone who, again, we don't care if you're using a particular piece of software like IS Boxer or whatever it is. If we get the vibe that you are someone with multiple accounts who's one person sitting at a computer and you are doing something, we don't give a fuck what it is. If you're doing something that creates a blatant advantage over another player in PVP or the economy, then we will come after you. And it's this kind of like however you'd word word it, you know, they've done it in the past. It's this vibe that I would like to see that if we get a sniff of a evil multiboxer, we will come down with a band hammer on you. I don't particularly care if a multiboxer runs to an instance and wants to film themselves. You know, Burley, you've got videos on YouTube, I believe, of you doing fucking crazy things in a two box in an instance that really impressed me. If people want to push themselves with the game in that way, fucking no skin off my back. I really don't care. So it's not really multi-boxing per se that I'm against. It's the way in which it's used by the vast majority of people that multi-box that really upsets me and upsets much of the community. I, I, sorry, I just, that's a bit of a verbal dump there. Feel free to pick up on whatever I've said, guys. Sure. So the, the, the key there is you said, well, we want Blizzard to be acting, you know, you're, you're saying I want Blizzard to act in things that they feel are negligent to the community as a whole. And you mentioned, oh, I don't care about if you're going into an instance to just go and show what you can do. The problem is everybody's opinion on that is vastly different. I guarantee even in chat right now, there's multiple people that would be willing to say them farming an instance is an economic advantage. Oh yeah, and I can see that. So the problem is there's too much of an invisible line there when you have players that are actually engaging the game, that are caring about the game, which many multi-boxers do, um, in order to just leave that vague. You mentioned how um, you basically were saying, you know, well, who's to say that they're even going to ban multi-boxers? The fact that this announcement exists, many multi-boxers are already backing off of multi-boxing, not for fear of their account. Some are, I'm not going to lie there, but a large portion of the community is okay with new rules. They just want to know how to play within those rules. And the the big thing here is like Blizzard announced this completely out of the blue with no clarification, and it's so vague. They didn't even speak to the creator of the largest software that is used for multiboxing to say, here's what functions are and are not allowed. And with that software, it has been designed in a way for other games as well. You know, EVE Online, it also works for where they don't allow input broadcasting like Blizzard is, you know, supposedly saying. And it's designed in a way to where you can still use it for window management. You can still use it for, um, you know, the ab- its ability to set affinity to your processors and the hardware optimization and things like that. Just the software itself won't allow you to use it for input broadcasting. There's there's settings that are available for that, um, but they didn't even reach out to the software creator to say, hey, we want to disallow this kind of stuff. Make your software do that. Because I guarantee he would. And, you know, there's the, the fact that it is so vague makes it very, very difficult for a lot of people to understand what it is they're actually trying to block here. Mm. Burley, I'll throw it over to you and and we'll come back to you, Wada, in a second, because Wada, you introduced the thought that, you know, 
maybe it is the time that Blizzard take a position on this, but what they've proposed, that's not it. He's suggesting that there are perhaps other things that could have been done, and, and this is a bit of a, whether you call it a knee-jerk reaction with the wrong response or not. But, Burley, when you think of other things or what options are on the table for Blizzard, if they are going to now divide um, or, or set some kind of stance on the action of multi-boxing. You know, Galgamir, in, who, who's an old countdown friend of the show, very, very passionate multi-boxer, uses it purely to, um, you know, play PvE. This is the way he likes to play the game. Um, I, I understand that a lot of people don't necessarily use it for that reason. That's how he does. But he, he raised the argument that, you know, it's a bit of a... a classroom mentality in that everyone's being punished for the actions of the disruptive crowd when there is a portion of the crowd that's not so disruptive. Um, however you feel about what ratio that is, is another question. But when you think of this action that they've taken, do you feel it's the wrong one and there are better options or what would you suggest they actually do if they are going to curtail this somewhat? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's tough. I mean, obviously, I, right now I think it's the wrong option, maybe like with a little bit more reflection, because the thing is, if this is really going to be used to stop botting, which is uh, the stated, the explicitly stated purpose, then it's probably for the best, even if a bunch of people who really love this uh, game and really like playing this way are going to get, you know, um, just totally, are, even if they're going to be totally unable to play the game they want, it's probably worth it if it stops botting. Um, but no, uh, alternatives, I think that if you just limited people to, I don't know, five or like maybe even like two or three accounts that a lot of the really egregious behavior uh, that really bugs people uh, would stop immediately. Okay. Wada, have you thought of any other specific deterrents or, or options that Blizzard could have come up with to combat this better? So I've heard a lot of suggestions. Um, the big thing is, I think... There is a lot that needs to be done on the design front rather than the rules front. And I alluded to this earlier, you know, the fact that you can walk up to an herb in retail uh, on Legion is a great example where it had the worst design um, or best if in the eyes of the multiboxer. I could walk up to a single ore node on retail with only five accounts and walk away with over a hundred ore because of how the how the implementation is in retail it's terribly dumb it was absolutely hilariously bad and it wasn't even just multi boxers that benefited from it there was literally public groups that were nothing more than herb farm groups that would do the same thing um the problem there is they realize oh the basilisks and all of that in retail they're a terrible idea let's not do that anymore but all of these are design implementations. You know, when Black Lotus was being botted, they realized, oh, we're we're not able to ban the bots effectively, whatever. So they changed Black Lotus and they took a design stance to say we're going to make more spawns of them spread out more. That would have been – even to take that to the idea of retail where you've got multi-herbing, that stops multi-boxers significantly, you know. Um at least in the traditional sense of like the following multi boxers, the multi boxers that leave like eight characters positioned all over the world. To me, that's not really the same level of multi boxing. Um, that to me is closer to botting and that should just be disallowed, period. Um, but all of this stuff that they're trying to target, it's all things that are stemming from bad design choices. The AoE farming boomkins or things like that. That's because of hyperspawns. They've created a system where we say there must always be things to kill and removed the scarcity of it. And when you do that, of course it's abusable. You know, when you look at Eco in Classic WoW, the, the number one most abused thing for multi boxers, that's specifically because Eco drop rate is very low, but it can be picked up by every person that hits the mob. You can get 40 from a single mob. What if instead they just make Eco, you know, a 100% drop rate off that mob, but only goes to one character? It keeps the same amount of Eco in supply for the general public. You know, maybe the numbers could be tweaked a little bit, 
but it makes it to where it suddenly isn't just absolutely game-breaking to come out there with a raid full of characters. All of this stuff can be done through design implementations that also would then affect botting. They would pr- they would lower the effect of bots at the same time. So it, it's trying to do this through a rules thing you alluded to. It turns into an arms race. Can we detect them and ban them before they come up with software to elude it back and forth? The The better answer is you just design things in a way that don't benefit botters or multiboxers to that level. And then suddenly multiboxing starts not being used for those things. You know, you, the idea of like, oh, I'm getting wiped out in PvP because of these 30 DKs. Well, it's real simple. You make it to where the follow is disabled and that other movement method, the IWT that I alluded to, is also disabled. Now, they can't even really move for anything in battlegrounds. Just to interject on one small thing there, not not that there's necessarily anything wrong with this, but then don't you feel like it's kind of asking Blizz to bend over backwards for such an intensely small percentage of the player base? I, I don't necessarily agree because in, in bending over backwards for a small percentage, they're also making design choices that are better for the general public the same. You know, spreading out herbs. The the reason why herbs are so cheap right now in retail is because they're botted to high hell and multi box to high hell. Spreading them out, that's going to be better for everyone. Changing the eco drop rate and making it to where instead of the economy oriented around multi boxers providing this eco, it's now everybody can go out there and get it themselves very easy. Anybody who's in a hardcore raiding guild in classic, I guarantee they don't really farm their own eco anymore. It's inefficient, it's terribly boring, it's slow, it's a pain. They just buy it because it's so cheap because of multiboxers. You get rid of these multiboxers, and I guarantee all of these eco are going to spike in price. Yes, they might go out and farm it, but it's still such a dr- low drop rate. One person might get 8 eco an hour, 6 eco an hour, less than enough for a single raid, and... That's that's just detrimental to the player too. You know, all of these can be addressed in a better way. Al, let me throw it over to you, mate. Um, and we'll have to start winding this one up, guys, because I've actually got to run to the pub relatively soon. But it's important that we give this one the send off that it deserves. But Al, um, look, Wada brings in a lot of interesting thinking points on this one, and and Burley obviously is at it a lot as well from the multi boxes perspective. But in in talking to someone in you who doesn't multi-box and, you know, has feelings one way or another about it as a non-multi-boxer. Um, you know, when, when I say things like, uh, whilst I appreciate, again, all of the points that the boys have made, personally, and I don't want to sort of be a killjoy, but personally, if I were to log in the Burning Crusade Classic and I do see no or many, you know, much fewer multi-boxers it's not going to upset me. You know, it's going to be better for, for me, it's, to be honest with you, even though I have said the good, you know, that the non-invasive parts of multiboxing don't particularly bother me, I still prefer a version of the game where I log in and my immersion isn't necessarily broken by seeing someone with the six mages or the, the, the weird follow and everything like that. It's just, it's a bit of an oddity to me. And I know that's going to upset the guys, but that's just as a bit of a casual player. That's how I feel. Ale, how, how do you feel about moving into TBC? You know, potentially not having multi boxes there and just picking up off of everything that we've said here. Um, do you ultimately feel that this is a good thing for the player base and have you cheered the decision at all or not? I mean, I feel like a little bit of a hypocrite because, like, I specifically leveled a shaman on a second account for my warrior to have Wind Fury, right? So while I'm not using any sort of mirroring software, I kind of am, you know, playing two accounts, right? Like that being said, if these changes actually do benefit the player base by removing, you know, this conduct that generally is, you know, disliked, 
Yes, absolutely. Am I concerned that it's that it's not based on you know what Wada and, and Berlief said that there is a lot of easy workarounds that it doesn't really do much? Then I wonder, you know, just what have they done to you know hurt a portion of their player base, which I think is kind of unprecedented for them to really do, right? Where they could you know specifically have excluded a subset, especially one that's so entrenched, you know, 15 plus years uh, of being able to play a certain way. So if it does what they promise it will do, um, then absolutely I applaud it. But I have concerns. It feels like, in a sense, if they've done this to address, uh, you know, cheating and people not being at their computers and playing, in a sense, it feels like they've kind of thrown in the towel to, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater by just making a really broad general, you know, banhammer, right? Which will hurt mm. some some players. Yeah. Okay. Burley, I want to throw it to you and then Wada. I'm going to get you to finish up on this one as we wrap it up. But um, look, guys, it, it, very much so. I'm will, more than willing to accept that maybe I'm the old man on the lawn. You know, so to, sorry, the old man screaming, get off my lawn. When I do say that I... I you know, very vividly remember not seeing bots and not seeing multi boxes when I first played vanilla and TBC back in the day. And now it seems to be something that you can't avoid seeing when you play the game. And it's a very different way of experiencing everything. And then obviously the trickle down effect of what that has done with the economy and PVP. So I, I completely respect where you guys are coming from, but I also have that in the back of my head where like I do often think what's the harm in having everyone just play the game with one character but um burley just give your final thoughts mate on on the situation and what you hope not necessarily what you hope to happen because you hope that blizzard would presumably reverse this decision i'm guessing but what a you know balanced decision from blizzard moving forward or balanced stance could be from blizzard moving forward on this could be and what you hope to see happen um honestly i'm not hoping for anything uh i think multi-boxing and wow as we knew it is basically gone uh, we were talking about workarounds um i know that the creator of the is boxer software is uh, going to be attempting to adhere to the spirit of the law. Like he's not going to be like, Oh, uh, let's find this cheesy way to, you know, technically follow the rules. Cause I, I think that the understanding in the community is that anyone who does that is probably just going to get banned anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm not, for me personally, it doesn't matter. Uh, so in the burning crusade, I'm going to be there. Um, I'm going to have my warrior on my right hand and my resto druid on my left hand. I'm going to try and get a 2k rating in arena. And these are my plans and they're not really affected by these changes. Um, so like for me, you know, it was kind of rough to hear on the first day. Um, but now I'm a little bit more, you know, stable about it because again, for me, multi-boxing is about the challenge. Uh, like Wado was saying, setting up all your key mappings and, you know, just getting the perfect system um worked out to you know solve this puzzle right and now that puzzle is just harder which you know isn't necessarily a bad thing so that that's where it is for me i think that there was one point that wada and i kind of had to bring up and i I, i'll let wada talk more about it but um specifically some of the the community reaction to multi-boxing i feel is a little bit overboard um look Multiboxing is not like some organic part of the game. And, you know, like, honestly, none of us were sitting here thinking it's like, oh, yeah, uh, multiboxing is never, ever, ever going to have a chance of getting banned. You know, it's not uh, the traditional way of the game. It's kind of like skeeting around the edges or whatever. So, again, we understand the disdain and some of the negative impacts. But just if this was like a personal request to whoever out as uh, is out there in the community, just like turn down the hatred and betrayal, like, like half a notch, you know, cause you know, we, we are real people. We're not actually robots. Um, you know, despite the common, common complaints, but. I must admit, and you're right, mate, and why I'll throw it over you to finish this one, but I must admit that you're spot on in terms of the community's thoughts towards it because, like, you know, I 
God, what are we going back now? Like 10 months ago, I, I dabbled in multi-boxing for about two weeks. And I was like, I want to see what all this is about. Like, this is a weird thing. I've never done it before. I'm going to dip my toe in the water and see what it's like. And, you know, I bought like five $15 accounts and fucking, you know, gave it a go. And I've never been like slash spit on more in my life in the process of playing those characters over two weeks. I think I got them to like level 11 or 12 or something. Um, and then I, I let them be, but it, it definitely, the, 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 the angst and the hatred kind of is there. And so I, I do understand where you're coming from. And, and I felt a bit that way too. I was a bit like, fuck, I'm, I'm just some dude just trying to level some characters here and people are all, whispering me and telling me to go fuck myself and spitting on me it was a bit weird and I, I didn't particularly appreciate it but i also do understand the experience that some people might have been through as to why they feel that way and like i said my feelings weren't particularly passionate on it until about 10 days ago when a multi-boxer started fucking with me in open world pvp then i got really angry and i was like fuck this. And, and maybe you can hear a bit of that in my voice now, still basically being pissed off at my time being wasted by someone a couple of weeks ago. But what a, um, just to really take us home, mate, and, and summarize everything that you, you, you want to say on this one. But, you know, moving forward, um, appreciating the balance of the players that hate multi-boxes versus the multi-boxer who just wants to be left alone and understood and go about the way the game in a non-invasive way. What do you hope will happen from here on? So I want to, before going too in depth down that road, I want to take a quick moment to clarify that like as a whole, I think removing multi-boxers is a net gain for the community as a whole. Um, I, I think overall multiboxing, it is a problem because it does allow that egregious behavior that I mentioned and pending it needing to be designed around the next best option is just simply, um, going and just like you said, throw the baby out with the water. Um, I, I think it is not necessarily a bad thing. However, going forward, what I would like to see made fair um, and changed, I think there's two proposals that I think are very fair in my eyes. Um, the first, and keep in mind, both of these are based around the idea that there are people like me who I've invested, uh, you know, 12 years of multi-boxing, paying, you know, account fees, buying every expansion five to eight times over. Um, you know, there's huge investment in these accounts and effectively we look at it as, oh, we're getting banned, even though we're not. And any player would feel the same way on their only account, allowing them still to be of use. So the first is you remove, you say mirroring software is not allowed, period, end of story. You must have, so like right now the official rule is, or was, uh, one key press by the user can result in one key press per client. Now they just change it to one key press is one key press to a client as you want, one client. That's exactly what Eve does. That's a lot of what other um, soft, like other games and stuff do. And in that case, you're pressing one button for every single thing. If I want to cast 10 Frostbolts, I have to press Frostbolt 10 times. The other option, and this is one that's very interesting, and I've seen it in actually uh, Cupbird 3 in chat actually just picked up on it, is to create a server, allow yes. multi-boxers to copy their character to that server, not necessarily move because they may still want, you know, still raid with their main character. Like for me, I raid with a shaman and a warlock, but I have an eight shaman comp and a five warlock comp that I play around with. So let them copy to that server. Say on all servers except this multi-box server, it's banned. On this multi-boxing server only, you can go and try to multi-box instances, try to do any of the challenge that you would like to do. You know, I go into ZG with my eight shaman to see how much ZG I can actually do. And just say, this server, you're allowed to do that. 
Yeah, but Galgamir every other and the guys Galgamir and the guys floated this idea as well. And I think he, you know, from the responses they were getting, no one seems to have an issue with that. If you have sort of multi box island and everyone goes off and plays that way there, and then you lock it down and have no transfers off of that server so that you're all locked in, you're all playing the game the the fun way that you want to play it and you can go nuts and, and do that. That seemed to be a, a, an answer. However, you know, again, we talk about likelihood of things happening and you know, I put that in the low likelihood range, but doesn't change the fact that it's a fucking decent option. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a great option. I don't see it happening either uh, because that's something that Blizzard... Um, it, it would be abused, you know, for instance, bot programs and botters would use that server to test things and, mm, you know, develop on. So it would, ha- it would be very difficult. Uh, that said, it would be very likely that like multi-boxers on that server would report bots much more aggressively, etc. cetera. Um, but honestly, like just setting it to the one-to-one, the exact way that Eve does it to me is perfectly fair. If I have to press a frostbolt for every frostbolt I fire or chain lightning or whatever it may be. Yes. You still have some advantage. You know, I could still sit outside of an instance and white people. Maybe that can be dealt with on a design aspect. Um, there's already rules against that kind of stuff. They're just not enforced. There's rules about how many accounts you could have eight. Uh, you're only by the terms of service. You're only allowed one battle.net account per person. And the maximum licenses you can have on a battle.net is eight. They just don't enforce it. There's already rules in place about sitting outside of an instance and AOE to prevent people from coming in for a long time. It's called area area denial. They've put that in place previously and actually have actioned multi-boxers previously for doing it. So all of these rules are already in place. They're just not enforced. And now they're just trying to throw a blanket rule. Whereas they don't need to. They just need to enforce the rules that they put in place before that prevent this stuff. That, that's the other thing right. that I kind of wanted to touch on as well is that it seemed a bit lazy to me, like not to like throw too much shade, but you know, to, to ban an entire kind of like sub community of your game because you're unable to handle like the cheating or unable to detect, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's hitting a lot of players who are playing within the rules to hit players. But then I, I guess the pushback is they would suggest that they've, they've, I mean, again, we say that this is a retail issue that just happens to have a trickle down effect to classic, but clearly they felt that I wouldn't think after 16 years that they, they've only taken action because maybe they've deduced that whilst yes, it is a subset of players and we always want to please all our players. A majority of that subset are not doing it for the right reasons, if you will. I I would argue the majority, but regardless of that, I, I don't disagree. You know, it is th- – that's why they're doing it is because there are very visible components that are bad actors that are causing these problems. But that exactly kind of proves Ailes' statement that it, it is kind of lazy to just take that route. Now, like I said, I actually think it's going to backfire a bit more on Blizzard than they're expecting – because you're going to see more false reports. You're going to see more customer service overhead. Um, you've got a policy that's been in place and allowed for 15 years, suddenly backpedaling. That's going to create a lot of problems elsewhere. I think long term, it's probably good and probably fine. But okay. I think there's just better ways they could do it. Fair enough. All right, guys, I've got to wrap this one up because I've got a cold beer waiting for me at the pub and my friends will kill me if I don't get there soon. But thank you so much for being here, guys. Wada, you've been an absolute fucking all-star. Whether or not people agree with you, you have put your arguments forward in a really great, concise, measured fashion. Thank you so much for being here. Gladly. I'm always willing to discuss and uh, anybody who just wants to chat me up, hit me up on Scarum. I'm always there to try and uh, educate about how multi-boxing works and the any of my thoughts and whatnot on it. Thank you very much. And yes, mate, he's, he's typed in chat, does the beer come with a warp spring coil? And yes, I hope it does. Shout out to Mike from the last call. Burley, thank you so much for being here, mate. It was great having another multi-boxer on here too. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was good to be able to like express 
you know, some of the inner angst that I feel. I hope I didn't come off as like too pacifying. Um, no, 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 no. It's all good, mate. Yeah. Look, I think multiboxing is awesome. I think you should multibox. Um, look, join the IS Boxer community. I know it's kind of a, it's kind of a rough time right now, but you know, mm. some no, of us- like I said, I've, I've dabbled. I've dabbled. I, I have used it for the purpose of like just trying to level as a duo or a trio or a five box and being like, what's this all about? I, but I, I don't have the bone in my body that goes, now I'm going to go and fuck with people and fuck with this server. I just don't do that. So, you know, I'm not against dabbling with it. So, you know, who knows? But, um, yeah, it, it's, it's always good to have you guys and your viewpoints here. But Ale, also, mate, thank you so much for being here and, and helping me out with this one as a non multi boxer. Anytime, Josh. Just All right, put guys. Up, put up the bat signal. <laughs> Will do. <laughs>